basically forgot I put a cover on the car because I'm leaving today, so another job. finished at the gym guys but I gotta get home and get moving um, because we are flying on vacation or holiday today sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky taxi's coming to pick us up from the house at 10 30 it's currently 6 30 um, so I've got plenty of time to eat breakfast get a shower finish all of my packing and head out but of course guys I'm gonna be taking you with me Smoke got eyelash extensions. Oh no. So we just got through security and we have a full on two hour wait now on the other side. To a mashup of security. Oh yeah, security asked me to stop filming and that was, uh, I said no, the people gotta see this. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna chill out, uh, hang out, maybe eat something. You're hungry? All right, guys, as you can see, we made it. We made it. We are in the hotel, um, but it is getting pretty late. So I'm pretty much done for the day. Um, I might go and get a drink at the bar. Um, but yeah, I'm here. And of course, I'm going to take you guys with me. So I'll see you back for day two tomorrow when we get it. And the sun is out and we're ready to do some stuff. Oh, man. We are out. It is day one here in Greece, or day two, should I say. Pretty much just woke up, and now we're gonna hunt down breakfast. Gotta get that protein, man. Breakfast was pretty good. We had, wow, well, I mean, it's okay. It's a buffet breakfast. Um, I had some eggs, bacon, some grilled vegetables. Greek monster tastes like. <sighs> All right, we're making a quick pit stop. I don't know if I showed you guys, but her eyes have gone really red because she got like eyelash extensions. So now she looks like she's been smoking a bag. So she's in there now, and I think she managed to secure some eye drops. You got it? Eye drops for Fif black Fifteen euros. Yo, eyeballs. Damn, look up. Currently trying to book a, uh, well, we're trying to book something. We're trying to book a tour, and we're trying to get to that place right there, Lindo. But um, the place is closed, or at least it seems like it. Look at that. That's what we want. That beach. It's roughly about 30 degrees right now, and we're climbing this hill. We've got an hour and a half walk to get to Old Town Road. And it's 30 degrees. We were gonna originally try and get a bus, but like all the buses are full. So basically when you're waiting at the bus stop, they just go straight and they don't even stop for you, obviously, because the bus is full. So we were like, let's just walk. And I'm rocking my phones. They're doing the Lord's work, putting in the miles, keeping me cool. 
staying comfy. I know, they might be melting. I was, I was thinking that. Medieval city of Rhodes. That's where we're at. This place looking wild, man. Huh? Camera? Phone. Open? Huh? Open the camera you have? It's phone. And they don't want you to film their fakes. Yeah, I think I got that all on camera, so... <laughs> <laughs> I basically just purposely pretended not to understand her, like, what? What? <laughs> Until she just gave up. One thing I will say, after about an hour and a half, nah, probably about two hours of walking, they are killing my feet. I think it's just the heat and then the foam just rubbing against your ankles, but... It sticks and falls. Yeah. Easy slides too? Yeah. Alright. So I can't say it's all day comfort, but I can say it's decent. You know, maybe if it wasn't so hot, it would be less painful, but... It is boat cruise day. We right at the front, boy. This got to be a lit pit. Jumping in. I'm just gonna have to say this. I didn't come on this side. Yeah. <laughs> jump off again try get a picture this time okay I want to see if I can touch the cliff we made it damn I went to those rocks and then I kicked I kicked the rock, and now my foot hurts. Well, it's quite farther than you think. What you getting today, lady? Chicken fajita. Oh man, we living out here. We gotta stay hydrated because. It is so hot. It feels hotter where we are now as opposed to like where the hotel is. I don't know, like there's just no wind. Like because we're surrounded by these mountains, all the heat and everything is just trapped in and the breeze just can't get into us. balances the truck today because the hustle continues I cannot wait to get these things in these look so nice and I was actually gutted that I missed the release this morning but who knew you could cop on a boat I just got them right now 
surprised they didn't sell out to be honest but hey delivery as soon as we get back we were uh, we were chilling at the hotel was kicking back and we found this little store that was selling fake foam runners and at first I didn't really think too much of it I, I just took a video of it and then posted it to my Instagram story now I got a bunch of messages from you guys saying that you wanted me to buy them you know what I should do I should wear foam runners to buy the foam runners check at the bottom of these things look how dirty they are black here we go 1950 and then there's the easy slides too 1550 a little bit cheaper just these that's right we gotta compare them see what's better all right so let's see what we got brother Let's pull it out. The holes are not even cut out. Did you pick up the worst part? There was only two there. And this is the only one that's my size. It's the real one. I want to get my socks wet. So this is a real pair. This is the sand colorway. And that's the fake pair. Look how pointy it is. Can you see that? I don't know. I feel like the shape's okay. Yeah, but look at look at how pointy that toe is. Oh yeah. And the holes are totally off. I mean, off. for a freaking cigarette shop in Greece, that's pretty crazy that yeah. they have this. But like, yeah, holes. Look at this. And 1950. Get a close up on that. That's maybe what 16 pounds. I mean, the foam is soft. Like, look at that. Yeah. I mean, from far away, they look legit. I don't think you would mind. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. <laughs> but only because maybe this is more like the the desert sand colorway that dropped. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, damn, far I away. Like... I really don't know if you would notice. Put them on. I don't even know why I even bought these in the first place. 300 for these? And you can get these beauties for 15? Hell no. Throwing these in the trash as soon as we get back to the room. Right, you ready to meet the new whip? We got the keys. This one here. Now, Jeffrey. There she is. That's our whip for the day. Damn. Boy, got some pickup, bruh. This feels like literally it was a manual once upon a time. Because I can, like, feel the gear. Anyway y'all we're in a car in a rental in Greece and we're driving on the other side of the road and we got a drop top so gang gang. Right first off on our road trip having the uh, rental car is this right here. I don't know how good it looks on camera but this is the ancient stadium in Greece in Rhodes. Olympic oh Olympic Stadium? Apparently this is the ancient Olympic Stadium. The top of the stadium, or at least a high point. Hey look, go party. 
Okay, so let me quickly just explain what happened here because it is actually crazy. We went to this place called the Seven Springs and we were walking around, there's trees everywhere and randomly there's this little tunnel that everyone seemed to be going down so we decided, what the hell, let's just join them. We walked forward in the freezing little stream into the pitch black tunnel and when I say pitch black, I mean you cannot even see your hand in front of your face when the flash is off. We had no idea where this tunnel was going or what it led to or even if there was an end to this tunnel but we kept moving forward sorry can we share with the light yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you <laughs> And then worst case scenario happened, my phone overheated and disabled the flash, leaving us in the pitch black to try and find our way out. That? Oh no! What happened? Yeah, my phone's overheated. Get you yourself. Yeah, hold your phone. Finally making it to the other side, we made it to the spring and so did everyone else. And I just thought it was such a crazy tunnel, so random, but such an awesome experience. Hey, oh, what the? Look at this. So this is the spot where that dark tunnel leads to. Okay, so. What sneakers did I bring on holiday? I gotta say, I'm pretty sure I overestimated how many sneakers I was gonna need, but I just thought, hey, why not? I got some extra space in my bag. So let's start with what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing right now, the Yeezy Slide. Of course I had to bring these things with me, and I gotta say, these things have been an absolute godsend. I also brought my pair of Sakai Vapor Waffles, this is the sale colorway, and I mean, they're super comfortable. They are big, so obviously traveling, packing, making sure you have enough space for these things, might be a challenge. Another pair of Sakai's which I didn't get too much wear out of but that is the LD Waffle. This is a brand new pair of sneakers that I uh, have in my rotation. A pair that I probably wore a bit too much was the Yeezy Foam Runners. These things were my go-to here on vacation. And I guess while we're on the topic of foam runners, something that you guys wanted me to buy is this pair right here. This is the pair of fake foam runners that I found out here in my hotel. And originally I just saw them and kind of laughed it off and I posted it to my Instagram story. And then you guys were like, yo, buy them and review them. So I thought I'd buy them, add it into the vlog out here, just see what they're all about. If I compared them side by side to the real deal, you can definitely tell which one is which. The sneaker that I wore a ton is the Yeezy 350 in the bone colorway. I'm so glad I bought these things. Like 350s, man, they're just such a freaking versatile pair of sneakers that you can do so much in. Wave Runners is another one. These are mainly just because they look so freaking cool. Also brought a pair of Dunks, of course. These actually came in pretty clutch, if I'm honest. Final pair I brought, this is just a pure flex shoe. It is the Travis Scott Air Max one. And I just broke these out. I undiest them out here on vacation. And I'm glad I did. I love this shoe. Yeah, guys, other than that, I was rocking my two feet that God gave me. And I was on the beach and I was chilling. I'm on my final day right now. I've actually got to pack and, and check out of the hotel in a couple hours. So I'm going to eat some breakfast and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to end this vlog and head back home. This is the last time you're going to see me in Greece. I want to thank you for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.